Welcome back to The Rundown, everyone. I'm your host, Nick Simonson. It is great to be with you here at Mid-Ice, where we are facing some challenging conditions, but we're getting out there and we're catching fish. And you can too, with the help of your friends at Runnings. This time of year, uh, the speed and the fast pace and the aggressive action that we saw at early ice has kind of faded, but there are still many opportunities out there. In fact, I would argue there's many more opportunities to get out there as ice has thickened and you're able to travel not just on foot, but say with a snowmobile, an ATV, or even a small car or a truck where ice permits. Again, check in with your uh, local uh, conservation agency or your state agency to find out exactly how thick that ice is and where areas of unsafe ice might be in your area so you're traveling safely. But in most areas that ice is thick. We're looking at 18 inches or maybe 20 inches where you can get out to places you couldn't explore at early ice and there are untapped schools of fish for you to get on. Now one of the challenges of mid-ice is that fish aren't as aggressive. So you combat this kind of change in attitude with a one-two punch. Here in the doldrums of midwinter, you need to draw fish in. And sure, there are going to be some aggressive fish in those groups that are going to crush your offering. But you want to come out aggressive. You want to kick lateral line sensations out for those fish to pick up on, whether it's a rattle in a rattle spoon or the flicker and flash of a spoon or a jigging wrap or some other sensation of an actively moved lure, you know, tip of the minnow head or some wax worms that's going to send the vibe out and so say, hey, there's something to eat here. And at midwinter, say it's after a cold front or you're in a real cold stretch or the weather's just not cooperating and that's kind of having an impact on the fish, you're going to want to have something to back that active lure up, and that's a passive setup. You want a passive setup, whether it's a slip float setup or a dead stick rod, to have a piece of live bait, a little minnow swimming down there that's a little more subtle, a little easier to catch up, and not as unnatural looking. By triggering that lateral line sense, by bringing fish in for a look, saying, hey, there's something going on over there, it might be edible, they're going to see two offerings. And if they don't like your first one, if that kind of turns them off, it's too much for them to chase, too much for them to worry about, they're going to move over to that more subtle presentation on your dead strick or your slip float rod and they're going to eat that minnow and swim off with it and then the battle is on. Runnings has all the tools you need at mid-ice to stay on fish and to convert those lookers into biters through this one-two passive aggressive setup. Stop in and get those lures, get those loud lures. I love uh, rattle spoons by uh, Northland. The Buckshot Rattle Spoon is an awesome one. I like their macho minnow with the flickering tail. Anything that kind of kicks off a wild action or gives some excitement. Uh, the Lindy Ratlin Flyer is another great spoon. And like I said, jigging wraps, chubby darters, and all sorts of different lures that can kick out the vibe, get some excitement under the water, and draw fish in. You know, a couple of them are going to come up and crush the lure, particularly like right now, here as we get into the dusk portion of the day, or tomorrow at dawn, when you have those low light periods, fish are going to be more active. They may take that active presentation without hesitation. If they don't, you have that passive rod, and Runnings has the rods that are set up to deal with a dead sticking scenario or designed for slip floating that are going to help you convert more fish when that bobber does go down or that tip starts to bend. With that, they have the terminal tackle, the hooks, the split shot, and those slip floats in whatever style you need to accomplish your goal. So stop in, and the best part about Runnings is they have local staff who know what's going on on the local lakes and waters around you. So they can point you in the right direction of a hot bite, whether you're looking for perch, walleyes, pike, or other species this time of year. They'll let you know what's going on and what they've been hearing, and odds are they have the bait and all of the other tackle you're going to need for a successful mid-ice season. So practice that one-two punch, get an active presentation, get that passive presentation set up, and you will catch more fish this time of year. For the rundown, I'm Nick Simonson. Good fishing to you.